as you may have probably noticed, the fashion industry, we pretty much speak our own language. So if you're interested in becoming a costume designer, styling for TV shows, films, music videos, movies, then this video is for you because you need to know how to speak the lingo. Once you get on set and someone tells you to take Crafty to Video Village, you better know what they're talking about. See, being a fashion stylist is one thing and there's a unique set of key terms for that part of the industry. But once you niche down and get into wardrobe styling and costume design, that is a whole other ball game. It is so niche. There's a completely different set of words that costume designers and wardrobe stylists use that fashion stylists don't. And the types of styling that fall under fashion styling are celebrity styling, editorial, runway styling, and the jobs that fall under costume design and wardrobe styling are the ones you do for TV, film, movies, commercials, some music videos, basically any type of production. So let's go over the different keywords. I'm gonna give you 10 key terms today. So listen up so when you get on set, you know exactly what's going on and what people are referring to. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the top industry key terms that costume designers and wardrobe stylists need to know when working on production. So listen up, cause I'm about to put you on game. Word number one is prep. Which is the work that you do leading up to a shoot. So as a wardrobe stylist or a costume designer, that consists of shopping, going to studio services, doing fittings, getting things tailored, and going to costume houses. So think of prep basically as the pulling process times 10. You're prepping the wardrobe that align with the project's treatment, which is our next word. So think of a treatment as basically the mood board for productions like music videos and commercials. It's a visual collage of the different scenes and notes from the script so you can see how things relate. Next word, or maybe I should say next term, is last looks. So when you hear last looks on set from the director, this is your last opportunity to fix anything on the talent before the cameras start rolling again. This isn't like your typical magazine shoot where you jump in 10 times to adjust the sleeves and the collars. No, productions move quick. There is a ton of people on set doing their job. So you gotta make sure everything looks on point before the cameras start rolling. Cause there's none of that on a production set, okay? Next word is playback. So once the cameras turn on and everything gets to shooting, the talent is doing their thing, the power players on set, they have their screen watching everything as it comes together and they're watching the playback, which is video of the footage that was just shot. So they look at this to make sure that everything is good to go and good enough to move on to the next scene. Next word is talent. Now this is just another word for the client of the day. It's typically the actress or actor on set. So the main focus is always on the talent, but background needs to look good too. The background is what they use to call the extras. And it's usually said for them to know, okay, it's time for you to get in your position. Next is Video Village. Now this is the place where it all goes down. I mean, lights, camera, action. This is where all the video monitors, the cameras, the director's chairs. Video Village is where it's all located for the top players, which are directors, producers, executive producers. That's where they all sit to watch playback. Now, unless you're the key stylist on set, you're gonna wanna avoid that area. That's for, you know, the top of the top people. Another common phrase you'll hear on a production set is, we're back in. So that's basically telling everybody, okay, break is over, lunchtime is over, let's get back to it and get back to work. Next is my personal favorite, which is crafty. Which is short for craft services, and that's the catering that provides food for productions. Now, let me tell y'all, craft services, they go all out. And aside from the wardrobe, of course, that's one of my favorite things about being on a production is that literally, they're not feeding you little snacks. Like, they are making you real food on the spot. The last production I was a part of, it was a week-long shoot for a major, major network. And every morning, I would go up to the crafty truck that they had, and I would get a breakfast burrito, eggs, bacon, cheese, and the works on it. Then the next day I would get French toast.
There's so many options and there is always a lot of food on set. So I'm telling you now, if you're on a diet, make sure you are disciplined because it's all out there. Like you can literally have whatever you like on a film set. You know, two things they don't play about is food and making sure the talent is happy. The very last key term you need to know is rap. So as the word implies, it's when you're done with the job, everything is all said and done, and you have to take everything back where it came from, do all the returns to studio services, to the costume houses, and everything goes back from where it came from. So those are the top 10 words that you absolutely must know if you want to do styling for productions. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a like, give it a thumbs up because it helps with the YouTube algorithm. It basically says, hey, people like this video, so let's show it to more stylists. So you are helping your fellow stylists get information by giving me that like. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that so you don't miss a thing. You know I'm spilling all the tea on this channel so you do not want to miss a video. So go ahead and do that and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!